If you're ready to reinvent, what are some of the first steps that you need to take today on Reinventing You? How's it going? I'm Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You, the channel where you can be inspired to go on your own reinventing journey. We're in the middle of a three video series. This is the third one. I hope that you have caught the other two. If you will watch all the way to the end of the video on that orange screen at the very end, the ending screen, I will have links to the other two videos. I've been talking about when is the best time to reinvent yourself? How do you know to reinvent yourself? And so today I want to talk a little bit about if you feel like you need to reinvent, what are some of the first steps that you need to take? One of the first things that you need to do is change your narrative, change your story. We all have a story that we tell ourselves, like we all have our self-perceptions. Maybe it's something negative, like I'm not good enough, or I'm not pretty enough, or I'm not tall enough. You know, those kinds of stories that we tell ourselves, especially when we get in into with groups of other people or on social media. And we say, well, that's great for them, but I'll never be like that. It's not a positive thing. It's a negative thing because we put ourselves down in our narratives. So we need to change our narratives. If you want to know a little bit more about changing your narrative, please check out this video above about changing your story. Changing your narrative means changing the story you tell yourself and also changing your goals and vision. In my last video, when I talked about how do we know when we need to reinvent ourselves and some of the things we do, our busyness, our procrastination, um, living for the weekend, all those kinds of things, it's because we have no vision. We don't know what our goal is. And the reason we don't know what our vision and our goal is, is because of our narrative. If we have a negative narrative about ourselves, then we will tend to not have a functioning goal or vision that we have created for ourselves. And I know this personally because I've always had a really hard time in figuring out goals and vision statements, mission statements. Oh, my gosh, I'm just so bad at those. And I know one of the reasons is, is because I have a very negative story about myself. And I was just thinking about this the other night, you know, trying to sleep and I'm thinking about all these kinds of things. And one of the things that I know that I have to overcome is that I'm not good enough to earn a lot of money. But what I was thinking about the other night is that I have never earned a lot of money. And my first thought is, I'm never going to earn any money. I'm never going to have a lot of money. And it's sort of this kind of self-perpetuating thought because it's like, I'm not good enough to earn money. I'm not smart enough to earn any money. I'm not savvy enough to earn any more money. And which is absolutely ridiculous. I have a master's degree. I have a college degree. I am a smart person. And I know this because I have a smart child. <laughs> but I mean, I am not stupid. I am not unworthy. I'm a good person. So for me to have this narrative that says, oh, I'm never going to earn any money. I'm always going to be, you know, scrambling around for money and stuff. And it's just, it's this terrible narrative that I have got to change. And maybe there's something about, um, that you have. Maybe it's not about money. Maybe it's about your career. Maybe it's about your looks. Maybe it's about your relationships. Change your narrative, change your story, and create goal and vision for yourself. That is going to get you places. And that is part of the reinventing process. Now, once you've changed your goals, once you've changed your narrative, that's great, but you have to take the next step. And right after that is changing your habits. Those are those small things that you do every single day without thinking that back up your previous narrative and all of the things that you need to change in your life. Start small. What are some small changes that you can make? So you have to change your habits. And it may be habits in terms of your health, what you're eating, your exercise, don't do it all at one time. Make small changes. Help them build up. Let them all the small changes to become habits. And the third thing is changing your environment. And that could be anything from who you hang out with to us creating a sacred space in your home to do whatever it is. Change your environment. Change your habits change your story. Now, you have to realize the important word in all of these things is change. 
Change is not easy, but change is a huge part of reinventing yourself. I hope that you are committed to make some changes in your own life. I hope this video has been inspiring for you and helping you to figure out some of the first steps that you need to make in reinventing yourself. I'm Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You. My goal is to inspire you to reinvent yourself to find a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. If you have not done so, please subscribe, and I would love to hear from you. So comment below and let me know what you think in terms of these first steps in reinventing yourself. I can't wait to see you on the next video. Have a great one.